Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is just a short glimpse of how I set up um, before pouring. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and then I'll reply back to you when I can. Now this canvas is about 130 to 110 centimeters wide. Uh, it's linen and it's already pre-gessoed. I gessoed it um, bef uh, a few times and uh, let it dry. Um, Today I will show you how I did my water tiger painting. It is big and it's actually very difficult but uh, I started off this year, year 2022 uh, with a tiger piece because you know this year is a year of a water tiger in a, in a Chinese zodiac so I'm going to paint a water tiger painting using acrylic pour technique and as you can see I've already sketched in advance what I will like it to be and I've already um, marked the position of the tiger with the white paint with white drops of paint and then I'll start painting from here so hope you guys enjoy the process as I'm not very good with words so I hope by seeing you all can um, roughly tell how I managed to do this pour um, so sit back and enjoy the process This is my favorite part for every acrylic pour. It's just pouring paints at where they need to be. Um, it may seem spontaneous and uh, sort of like uh, unplanned, but I actually planned all this uh, in my head, in my mind, before executing it out. Because one small pour can destroy the whole painting, so please make sure that uh, you know where you, you want the paints to be before pouring them out. For those who are new to my channel, um, this is called Detail Pour and if you don't know what Detail Pour is, you can refer to the link um, of the first Detail Pour I've ever done. Uh, it's at a description area. Uh, sorry, my phone ran out of battery so I did not take the part of where I blew the paste. So it's basically just... Um, blowing the white parts out to each direction and that's what I did with the hair dryer now I'm gonna start swiping so from time to time I'll um, blow the paints out um, to the shapes that I want and then I'll, I'll um, do the details using my mouth and a pillow knife. Don't forget to torch too to pop up all the air bubbles.
I'm sure every artist loved the end result of every pour when it's so nice and glossy and shiny and we wish that it remains this way forever but it is not but the end result for this is amazing just look at all the colors integrating with one another it's, it's just so beautiful these paints are just mixed with paints and water no floor troll, no silicone oil, nothing now the end result is also beautiful but it's more satin finished uh, which I also like just look at the colors, it's very vibrant I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please subscribe, like and comment I would love to hear from you and see you guys soon, real soon take care and have a great week everyone bye